Welcome back. Move You is here. Today I'll show you a 2013 drama history movie called 12 Years a Slave. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. But first, let me introduce you to this movie's cast. Chiwetel Ejiofor as Solomon Northup, Platt. Michael Fassbender as Edwin Epps. Lapita Nyong'o as Patsy. Sarah Paulson as Mary Epps. Paul Dano as John Kibitz. Benedict Cumberbatch as William Ford. Alfrey Woodard as Mistress Harriet Shaw. Brad Pitt as Samuel Bass. Ada Perro Oduye as Eliza. Garrett Dillahunt as Armsby. Scoot McNary as Merrill Brown. Taryn Killam as Abram Hamilton. Christopher Berry as James H. Birch. Chris Chalk as Clemens Ray. Rob Steinberg as Mr. Parker. Michael Kenneth Williams as Robert. Brian Batt as Judge Turner. Bill Camp as Ebenezer Radburn. Tom Proctor as Biddy. J. Huguli as Sheriff. Storm Reed as Emily. Quavenjan A. Wallace as Margaret Northup. Dwight Henry as Uncle Abram. And now, enjoy the movie. Solomon Northup is a free African-American man in 1841, working as a violinist and living with his wife and two children in Saratoga Springs, New York. Two white men, Brown and Hamilton, offer him short-term employment as a musician in Washington, D.C., however, they drug Northup and deliver him to a slave pen. Northup proclaims his freedom, only to be savagely beaten. Northup is shipped to New Orleans along with other captives. He is told by the others that if he wants to survive in the South, he must adapt. A slave trader named Theophilus Freeman gives Northup the identity of Platt, a runaway slave from Georgia, and sells him to plantation owner William Ford. Ford takes a liking to Northup and gives him a violin. Growing tension between Northup and plantation carpenter John Tibbetts finally breaks when Northup physically defends himself from Tibbetts and beats him with his own whip. Tibbetts and his men prepare to lynch Northup, but they are stopped by the plantation overseer. Northup is left on tiptoes with the noose around his neck for hours before Ford arrives and cuts him down. To save Northup's life, Ford sells him to Edwin Epps. In the process, Northup attempts to explain his situation, but Ford does not help him. Epps is ruthless and sadistic. Northup meets Patsy, a favored slave and Epps' top cotton picker. Epps regularly rapes Patsy while his wife abuses and humiliates her out of jealousy. Some time later, cotton worms destroy Epps' crops so he leases his slaves to a neighboring plantation for the season. Northup gains the favor of the plantation's owner, Judge Turner, who allows him to play the fiddle at a neighbor's wedding anniversary celebration and to keep his earnings. When Northup returns to Epps, he uses the money to pay a white field hand and former overseer, Armsby, to mail a letter to his friends in New York. Armsby agrees and accepts Northup's saved money, but immediately betrays him. A drunken Epps questions Northup at knife point, and Northup is narrowly able to convince Epps that Armsby is lying and Epps relents. Afterwards, Northup mournfully burns the letter to prevent Epps from finding it. Some time later, Patsy is caught by Epps going to a neighboring plantation in order to acquire soap, as Mrs. Epps will not let her have any. In retaliation, Epps orders Northup to whip Patsy. Rather than risk harm to himself, Northup accepts but Epps demands he strike her harder, eventually taking the whip from Northup, and nearly whips Patsy to death. Enraged. Northup destroys his violin. Northup begins working on the construction of a gazebo with a Canadian laborer Samuel Bass. Disturbed by Epps' open cruelty towards his slaves, Bass, citing his Christian faith, expresses his opposition to slavery and castigates Epps, earning Epps enmity. Northup overhears the conversation and decides to reveal his kidnapping to Bass. Once again, Northup asks for help in sending his letter. Although Bass is hesitant at first because of the risk, he agrees. Not long after, the local sheriff arrives and Northup recognizes the sheriff's companion as Mr. Parker, a shopkeeper he knew in New York. As they embrace, an enraged Epps furiously protests and tries to prevent Northup from leaving only to be rebuffed. Northup bids an emotional farewell to Patsy and rides off to his freedom. Northup returns to reconnect with his wife with their fully grown son, daughter, and his daughter's husband. He is presented with his grandson and namesake, Solomon Northup Staunton. Northup tearfully apologizes for his long absence while his family comforts him. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.